Starfield game. I know very little about it. I know it's going to be a big sort of like open universe, ex explore the universe sort of thing um, that they're working on. And Fallout 5 is going, to read, is going to be coming out after this, if I understand correctly. So um, we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what they've got. This is uh, Starfield from Xbox and Bethesda. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who in the future the game is set in are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. That was Todd Howard, the president of the country. New Atlantis. Okay, where's the Stargate then? Okay. These almost look like Fallout graphics. Yep, I can see like this big gigantic walker device. It's, it's, it's moving like one of those, um, it's moving like power armor in Fallout, I can already tell. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Okay, face animations look a little crisper. Because we're committed it's not quite Mass Effect, but it's getting there. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. It's like this thing is trying maybe to be destined. Solving that puzzle now. Or really, maybe it can. So, you found something? A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can Why does this feel like Fallout in space? Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Step. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. I don't know. Okay, the battle system looks interesting. Guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road... Oh, okay. Right. Creature design. Get me out of left field there. Forever. Is that it? I guess that was it. Good grief. Okay, fine. That was Starfield from Bethesda. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that game is due to release next summer. I don't think they've announced a full like street date for that, but that's uh that's Bethesda's latest game. Uh, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we have a marketplace now that has games like Destiny, which I still play regularly for, on a personal note. Um, the Anthem, like I said, uh, Mass Effect, like I mentioned earlier already. I mean, obviously, you know, Halo Infinite is still in existence, which, you know, depending on who you talk to is, is a good thing. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's one of those, this feels like one of those genres that it's like, do we even sort of like, do we even really still take these kinds of what are trying to be space exploration or like save the universe kind of games? Do we really still take that sort of thing seriously as a gaming community? I really kind of wonder if that's played out to the point where maybe these kinds of games shouldn't really happen anymore for a while. Cause it's like, they all sort of feel either structurally the same, structurally, structurally too much the same to each other or tonally too similar to each other. You know, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I don't know. Um, the, Oh, we have some YouTube comments. I'm sorry. This is a uh, <laughs> Stacy Whiteside. Hello. Uh, hi, Brain Space. Good to see you again. I'm just now noticing YouTube comments. I'm sorry. Um, Philip Prochinsky, sorry if I'm pronouncing that last name wrong, says Any idea about Bethesda and Game Pass? Are all new releases going to be exclusive to the platform? Well, like I mentioned, Bethesda is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Microsoft. So it stands to reason that a lot of that is going to be, um, at the very least, first run on Xbox and Game Pass and um, and hopefully like ideally PC, um, at the very least in the same sense that when Destiny back in the day was releasing all their DLC, it would always famously be put out first on PlayStation. And then that was like well before we got the news that basically 
everything is definitely going to be on uh, exclusive to to PlayStation first. Um, now that Bungie, the developers and makers of Destiny, is now a wholly owned subsidiary of Sony, so it's like uh, it's it's one of those kinds of things. Um, and and there's probably going to be sort of a similar sort of structure to that happening with this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at the very least if like all the DLC winds up hitting Game Pass. Uh, or DLC discounts, I should say, on that sort of thing. If not, the game itself is exclusive to um, is exclusive to Game Pass and Microsoft first before it starts branching out to other platforms. And by other platforms, I pretty much just mean PlayStation, because let's be honest, Switch is not going to be able to run something like that, especially if reports are correct and the um, and Starfield will require a Series X console or PS5. Like you know, people who are running what are now considered last gen xbox and playstation the one x and ps4 pro you're not going to be able to run starfield so uh better save up those pennies now or make sure that you're extra good this year so santa will drop one in your stocking 